morning. Um, a couple things today. It's Friday. I let the kids sleep in. So the house is quiet. Um, I told you guys yesterday about the bone spur. Well, I have about five that have popped up. And I picked at this one. There's a solid piece in there. And it feels like... It's like a piece that maybe went around the tooth. Like, it will not even come out. It's huge. I, I picked at it. My gum started bleeding. Um, I cried to my husband. Like, I don't know if I can make it till Monday. And I regretted picking at it because it made my gum hurt. And I don't want to make my gum swell. Because, as you know, the faster it heals, the faster I can get teeth. Um, so, I got that one. Where that white spot's at, that's the tooth poking out. Right there's the tooth poking out. So, it's pretty painful. Come here. So, yeah, that's pretty painful. And that's what I did yesterday was picking at little pokey spots in my mouth. Um, as you all know, I'm going to the oral surgeon. Not till May. And this thing looks gross don't mind my tongue i know it looks crazy i'm i like to drink my coffee before i brush the little bit of teeth i got in my mouth i don't know why my coffee doesn't unless i'm going out in public i drink my coffee first and brush my teeth because it just has a nasty taste. and look at this it's like a little nub there and it's like turning a light white i don't know what that is um, I was thinking, I'm going over my videos, and I don't think I've really described to you guys why I didn't get the immediates. I know I've suggested to you all, get them, and I was dead serious about that. But, the reason I did not get my immediates is because by the time my dentist finally called me to come in to do my extractions, I had already told them I wanted the immediate. They told me how much money it was. I had the cash. I wanted the immediate denture. Well, it took them almost two weeks. Yeah, it was about two weeks to get my appointment set up to do my extractions. When the dentist that had to do them would be there, yada, yada. So, it took like two weeks. And then the day before my appointment to get my extractions... She called me and said, oh, I see on your file you want the immediate dentures. Well, mind you, I know nothing about this. I didn't know that I needed to get impressions ahead of time. So she says, we'll have to cancel your appointment for extractions, do the impression for your immediate, and we'll send that off to the lab. And I said, well, when will I get my extractions? She said, oh, it could be up to 14 days before we get that back. Then we'll call you with an appointment for your extractions. So, at first I said yes, and then I called Aspen Dental, and they said, oh, well, you can come in here. It wasn't until later I found out that they couldn't do anything for me after they got pulled. But I was aggravated, so I called them back and said, you know what? My teeth are in a lot of pain. I don't want to wait another two weeks. I've changed my mind so many times in the past couple of years, and I have the money to do it now, and I want to do it before something happens. The money's gone, or I changed my mind. So, we're going to do my appointment for the extractions, and I'll deal with the dentures later. So, that is why I did not get the immediate. Not because I didn't want it, not because I didn't have the money for it, but because of misunderstanding and just complete, complete unorganization from this dentist's office. I'm not saying my dentist or who did it because I'm not trying to be hateful towards them but the whole thing was unorganized and when i got in there after he pulled all these and you know they told me that the canines have longer roots well he got this one and butchered my gum and when they were down to just that one left the other canine they were talking to each other about it he was like oh i think we need an oral surgeon same thing with my wisdom tooth and she was like, oh, she was, his assistant was talking to him and was like, oh, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. We can refer her over to such and such. I started crying. I'm like, no, I paid for this and you want me to walk out of here with one tooth left in the front of my mouth? Are you kidding me? The whole reason I'm doing this is to stop looking like crap. 
and I bawling and bawling and they went out of the room for a minute and came back and he was like, oh, your tears worked. I'm going to pull it. No, screw you. I paid you for this. And with the wisdom tooth, he put the numbing stuff down there when we started. So he originally was going to pull that wisdom tooth. He never attempted to pull it. He never even put his hands back there after he numbed it. He was like, oh, I think I'm just going to send you to the oral surgeon for that one. I'm not going to mess with it. Then why did you numb it? You have my x-rays. You were originally going to pull that tooth, were you not? So the more I thought about that when I got home, he was definitely going to pull it. And he just either got lazy or something. I told my mom, like, I think he was hungry, so it made him a little grumpy. It took him almost two hours to pull six teeth up here. My back teeth? I had like 14 out, and the dude was like, less than maybe 10 minutes, they were all out. But either way, this dude's stomach was growling the whole time. He took two breaks. He got upset with me when I could still feel it when he was um, sawing my gum open. So he put more numbing stuff in. He walked away for five minutes, came back. And he just totally... I, I don't think his heart's into pulling teeth. I don't think he likes to do that, which is fine. But he should have told me ahead of time. Because honestly, if he would have told me ahead of time that he doesn't like to pull difficult teeth, I would have went somewhere else. But yeah, that was a little scary when I thought he was going to leave that one tooth. Like, I would have went off. I would have complained about that office. I would have asked for a complete, total refund. You don't allow somebody to pay you to pull teeth, and then you're going to walk away and leave one. <clears throat> Luckily, they did give me back the money for the wisdom tooth he didn't pull. And you know he wants to fill this one for $220 on Monday, so they're probably going to be pretty upset when I go in there and tell them, no, I'm not going to fill that one today. I don't have the money for that. Because when I go to the oral surgeon, I'm going to ask his opinion on it. Because the lady at um, Florence Dentures that's doing my dentures, she said, no, that tooth is so decayed. That one needs to be pulled. She said, if you get that one filled, and guess what, like six months to a year down the road, that filling comes out or the tooth decays more, there's barely anything left there as it is, then they'll have to pull that and you'll have to pay for a whole new partial on the bottom because then you won't have that tooth there to clamp on. So I'm like, you're right. I'm not going to go pay $220 to fill a tooth that I think is useless and needs to come out. It's actually cheaper than that to pull the tooth. So... I don't know if they're going to be mad at me Monday when I go in there. That's why I don't know if he's going to pull the bone spurs out because I'm telling him that I changed my mind and I do not want that one filled until I get a second opinion. I mean, it's my choice, right? I'm paying, so I should be able to pay to get it pulled. If, if I don't want the tooth, that's my choice. I didn't want any of these. See? They're not bad, but I was just going to get them all pulled and over with. But he said, oh, you're young, let's keep some of your teeth. So let's keep two or six teeth. Let's keep six teeth because he really doesn't feel like pulling them. Um, yeah. So after Monday, this will be my last time ever going to this dentist's office. It was almost three years ago, or two, two years ago when I got the back ones pulled. And it was the same office, but it was a different guy. It was the dentist that actually owns this office, but now he's gone to Orlando to start a new practice, like he's building up a practice there. But after he pulled my teeth, I wasn't going to go back there. I really wasn't, but I went back because they already had my x-rays, they know my information. But when he pulled my back teeth, I still had an infection from abscess. He knew I had that infection because he gave me antibiotics. Well, antibiotics didn't really kick in, and that infection was horrible. When he pulled my teeth, he said he numbed me enough for three people. I still felt it. And a week after extractions, my gums didn't look this good. There was just red swelling everywhere. And I went back crying and complaining. And you know what he told me? Oh, you're a smoker. That's why. So he gave me more antibiotics and more painkillers. It was not because I was a smoker, because I'm a smoker now, and these teeth are, this gum is healing great. There was a bad infection, and it traumatized me for years, so it was a while before I went back in there. And when I did, I only went because it was a new dentist in there. 
and he the way he talked to me, I loved it. I'm like, this guy really cares. This is going to be great. So, this will be my last trip to this office. I've already paid for this upcoming appointment, so I'll go. But I'm not paying for the fillings. And I will not ask for anything else of them other than get these freaking bone spurs out of my mouth. Thank you. Have a good day. Well, that's it, guys. My phone's going dead as usual. And I got to get up and get motivated. Hope everybody has a happy, happy Friday.